Hello guys, this is Cameron back with a bunch of stuff that I picked up over the past couple weeks. A lot of it's listed, some of it should be listed tomorrow. I already got pictures for it. Haven't done a haul video in a little while. Um, I had the one of the video game, the Nintendo game packs or whatever. Um, had that stuff, but haven't done more of a run-of-the-mill type haul. Honestly, I've just been buying so much and just posting it and trying to get it out of here and into the storage unit. To keep things um, from not getting cluttered, I haven't really done a video for you guys. So, for I do one, just kind of a hodgepodge bunch of stuff here. Um, and I also want to say something before we get started. I know in some of my videos, you can hear stuff in the background, like my dog or the dryer. Uh, every once in a while, you hear my son kind of crying or something like that. He's um, eight months old now, so you've seen him in probably some other videos. And sometimes, if my wife puts him down and he kind of fusses, it'll be in the middle of my video. Um, and I hope it doesn't pick up, but sometimes I'll go back and listen and I can still hear it. So I apologize for that. He is okay. It's not like we're just abandoning him. But usually when I'm doing a video, if she's doing laundry and puts him down, every once in a while I'll get a little fussy. So hope everyone's okay with that. Um, no need to call Child Protective Services or anything like that. So just a little humor there. Um, a couple of clothing items and a bunch of hard goods. Um, this is something I wanted to show you guys because I should do pretty well on it and some people don't know about it. This is the San Diego Goals. Um, they're hockey jerseys. These are season ticket holder ones. I bought three of them. There's some other ones in this pile. I think at least one more. I have another one of this one too. Um, I paid 50 bucks for all of them. <clears throat> I should get like 40 bucks a piece for them. Something like that. Maybe 50. Um, these are the affiliate for the Ducks, I believe. The, um, Anaheim Ducks. So they're like, um, like a minor league for baseball type team, you know, a lower level team, but sometimes jerseys for those type of teams, hats can still sell really well. So keep an eye out, try to find some of the ones around you. Cause sometimes you'll see their jerseys, especially hockey ones, but even, you know, minor league baseball, stuff like that. Sometimes you can get them for really cheap and sometimes, you know, they'll sell well enough cause people will still go out there and support those teams. So just a little tip, look out for the minor leaguer ones. These one, two of them were season ticket holder ones. So when you bought a season ticket, they gave you a jersey in the size you wanted. So those should probably go for that like 40 range. But I have an actual jersey here. It's a little bit better. That one may be 50. So paid 50 for all of them. Um, I've done really well on gold stuff in the past. I think last time I had a really nice um, like official jersey. I think I got like 70 or 80 bucks for that. So that was pretty cool. And I had paid like 10. So <clears throat> here's another thing. It's uh, Dallas Cowboys, my favorite team. So... If you're a hater, just, you know, keep that to yourself. We're in the playoffs right now. Just uh, beat the Seahawks up, so that was cool. Um, I don't think we're going to go much further. hate to not have the faith, but still support them. This is a 94. It's a Hanna-Barbera. Um, little graphic on the front there. It's a jacket. I paid like 7 bucks for it. It's got cowboys in the back, but you can see the cracking. But it's got the big star, so I think that's probably 25 to 35. Um, not a whole lot, but... Couldn't pass it up. I'm a Cowboys fan. Um, this one's like a, if you look up on eBay, sometimes they go for like 30 to 40. It says Groove. Um, I think they list it as like a 90s hip hop type thing. It's almost like a hockey jersey. Mine's got a little flaw right here where the um, thread got pulled and it kind of messed it up. And there's a, one or two little stains on the sleeve. I paid like four bucks for it though. So I'm still going to try to get 30 for it. Here's the other San Diego Goals jersey. This is like the nicer one. Um, this one was... Again, part of that $50 lot. Hopefully I'll get like 50 bucks for that. And these were pretty cool. I was at a guy I buy from. He buys storage units. And he used to <clears throat> do estate cleanouts. Sorry, my voice. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, he used to do estate cleanouts. And I'd buy from him at his garage sales. Now he's doing those plus storage units. And he always sells me stuff just for dirt cheap. Um, he had all these four XLTs. These are big boy shirts. Um, even too big for me. But um, there's six of them here. They're 50 cents each, so three bucks for all of them. They're in really good shape. This is the worst one right here. Um, it's got this little issue right here. But aside from that, all of them are in, like, really nice shape. There's two brands. There's Synergy. And here's Synergy. There's another Synergy. And there's the another Synergy. And then the other Oak Hill. Um, I grabbed them all. I'm just going to allow them to go. I took a chance on them. I figured, well, if these shirts are just a bigger size, there might be some money. In them, if I lot them all together and at three bucks invested, I mean, even if I could sell them for, I don't know, 30, which I still think I could do more than that, um, you know, we'll make money there. So just want to take a shot on that, trying something new when they're that 
cheap, and there's so many of one kind, it's worth taking a shot on. Plus, they're the huge size. Um, I shouldn't say huge, because if any of you were a 4XL, it doesn't mean you're huge. But just, you know, it's a bigger than average size, and uh, there's not going to be as much on eBay. Those brands individually don't, like, one shirt by them in that size doesn't go for a ton of money. I'm just trying to hope to lot them together and maybe average 10 a shirt or something. So, pretty cool there. And let's move on more to the hard good stuff. Um, I have a puppet with a knife. So, uh, they didn't actually come together. I just set that there. This is a Frost. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's kind of hard. There it is. Frost. Uh, Mora. Made in Sweden. Stainless steel. Like a chef's knife. Look out for the big chef's knives or cleavers. Um, usually the better brands like you know, Dexter or Case, you know, stuff like that is going to be better Cutco. But um, J. Hankles, that kind of stuff is the better ones. But even like brands you haven't heard of, if they're made in the USA, Japan, Sweden, stuff like that, um, then you might want to take a look at them. This one I paid like 3 bucks for. I think I'll probably get like 25 or 30 once it's all said and done. The brand does okay. Not a ton on there, but, you know, maybe someone who, you know, prefers this brand. It's made in Sweden. It's a pretty big knife, so I think we'll do okay. But look out for that kind of stuff. Um, don't hurt yourself either. Here's a puppet. Um, he's big. He's like 30 inches, I think, or something. I want to show the brand because Sunny & Co. Toys. Um, look some of these up. Some of them only go for like 15 or 20 for the smaller ones, but some of the big ones like this can go for like 30 bucks. I saw one go for 70. He's got a little bit of staining on his nose and on the inside of his mouth too. He was only four bucks plus tax, so I figure if I can get 30 bucks for him, that's pretty cool. It won't cost much to ship him, but he's the probably the first or second puppet I ever bought, so I don't know a ton about him, but we'll see how it goes. Um, here's a little thing. I don't think I showed these. These are like little brass, um, light socket covers and different things. There are six of them in total. I paid five bucks for all of them. They're from like the seven sixties or seventies. And, um, I don't know. I saw someone sell like a whole pack like this for 50 bucks. So I just jumped on them. Sometimes old, um, you know, outlet stuff, old cabinet wear, pull, door pulls, handles, things like that can do well. So, for five bucks, it's worth a shot. Uh, these are Maxell um, XL2s on a 90 and a 100. Um, these ones I paid a dollar for 50 cents each. I don't know what they're going to go for, but I think these are the good ones. So I haven't listed them yet. I just rubber banded them so they wouldn't get loose. I wish they were the same exact, that both were 100s, but um, we'll still throw them together and see if we can get some money for them. Here's a Cortland reel right here. Comes with the instruction manual. It's brand new. Paid three bucks for it. It was $36 at Wally World, so um, I don't know when. Probably an older, bit of an older um, item that's, I don't think it's probably there right now because the box is kind of beat up, but I think I listed it for like 25 or best offer, so if we could get even 18, it'll go first class, so that's pretty cool. Found a new thrift store on Saturday. Um, there was nothing really out there because the weather was kind of bad, but I found this thrift store. It's only open for a couple hours a week, and... Um, Found two video games, Vector Man 1 and 2 for Genesis with the box. Uh, paid a dollar each, and hopefully I'll get like 25 for those two, so pretty cool. Here's a pretty cool game, Xbox 360, Jurassic the Hunted. Look out for Jurassic um, Park or Jurassic you know, dinosaur games for like 360 and PS2. There's one called like Operation Genesis, I think, on PS2 or something like that. It's worth like 50 or 60 bucks. This one goes for like 18 or 20 for the 360, and a lot of people pass it over, so it's worth picking up. Here is a smart control. This is for a hearing aid. Um, I picked these up for a Unitron. Picked these up for like two bucks. For I got two of them. Um, they do work. Oh, I don't have the battery in this one, but these will light up and everything. Um, these go for like 20 to 40 bucks, kind of all over the place. Um, one, the one has the manual and everything, so I put that one together for a little bit more. I think I listed this one for like 25 so for two bucks it's worth a shot. Actually, old hearing aids themselves can be pretty valuable too. Some people get crazy money for them, so I don't know a whole lot about them, but it might be something to research if you got some time. Offer up deal. Um, actually, we'll start with this. I saw that she had two HP 61, the other one's not pictured, combos. They were sealed, expired in 18, so just last year. Um, she wanted 20 each. I met, She had them up for a couple months. I messaged her and asked if she'll take 20 for both, and she said sure. 
And the next thing I do when I'm looking at someone's offer up or whatever is I immediately look at everything else they have listed because I want to see if I can find something else. Since I'm already going there and making a buy, maybe she'll be willing to sell me something else at even a better price too because I'm already coming out there to buy something. And I found these Life Cam Studio cameras. There's two of these as well. They're brand new. Um, these are the 1080p HD ones. I She had them listed for 20 each again, and I offered her 10. I said, would you take 10? And she said, yes. And then I got there, and she brought one out. And I said, do you still have the other one? And she said, yeah, she did. And I said, would you take 10 for it? And she said, sure. So I paid 40 for everything. These should go for like 40 shipped, which is still great for $10. And these will go for like 30 shipped. So... You know, it's not going to get rich, but they're super easy to list because they're brand new. Um, and they'll be super easy to pack, so we'll take the money there. Uh, Doodle Bear. Uh, my son used to have a Doodle Bear. We used to call him my older son, Doodle Bear, when he was little. Because um, someone got him one of these. Not particularly this one, but a newer one. This one's from 2005. It looks brand new, but if you look there, there's no markers. There's supposed to be little markers to color on the bear. Um, someone sold one, I think, for like 50 or 60 bucks that had the markers. Mine does not, but it was only like three bucks, so I just grabbed it. Um, used, they sometimes go for like 15 or 20, so I figured I might get 30 for mine. Um, let's see, this is a really cool toy. If you don't know about it, you should look out for it. It's called a Pat Pat Rocket. So, Pat, like the name Patrick shortened. Uh, Pat Pat Rocket. It's Disney Little Einstein, and just remember the look of this rocket because it comes in different. There's like a plush, there's plush ones, there's another smaller one. Um, and usually it's supposed to be four little figures, four little kids that go in there. But look these up if you haven't ever seen this. Uh, Disney Little Einstein Pat Pat Rocket. Ones with the figures sometimes go for like 120 bucks for a toy. It does make noise. This one, I can't get the noise to work, but I only paid a dollar for it. Um, one thing you can do if it doesn't work is just sell it as is. Someone will buy it who wants just the rocket for their kids. Um, or you could take the, the lid part off here, the top, and you can sell that separately sometimes for like 30 bucks. So I've done that before. I had one that was really trash. I sold the lid for thirty. Um, I've also sold one with all the figures, and I think back then I got like ninety something dollars. And look up the figures. Look what they look like because sometimes you'll just find them. They have plush ones. They have little like three inch figures that are for like cakes and stuff. They all sell. I sold a lot of like four figures for sixty bucks one time. I paid like three dollars. So um, Disney Little Einstein Pat Pat Rocket. That's probably the bolo of the video. If you don't know about it, look it up because you can make good money. Here's some rainbows. Um, if you don't know, they make pretty good quality sandals. Um, these are a size 3X, which is like a 13 and a half to 15. Um, they look braided. They got the stickers on them. There's a couple little scuffs on them, but honestly, I think they are basically new. Uh, I paid six bucks for those. We'll probably get like 30 to 40. Let's see. Uh, here's a brawn food processor. I paid like eight bucks for it. Um, just come, no pusher. The one it had. Um, the lady goes, oh, this is the right pusher. And I was like, man, it's not the right one. It's a totally different color. It doesn't even fit right. And then we kind of got into a little bit of a debate for a minute because she insisted to me that it was the right one. But um, I ended up just kind of conceding that, you know, I was like, oh, okay. But really, I knew she was wrong. Um, I know enough about these things. She had the wrong pusher. I mean, it did kind of fit, but it was like, it didn't fit like it was supposed to. So I just threw it away. It's not worth it. But uh, brawn does okay. It's a little bit harder. Food pressers are to find. Um, so I'll probably get like 35 on the bowl and the lid each and then probably 20 on the blade. So for eight bucks, good money there. Um, here's some Dr. Comfort shoes. Um, kind of like SAS, the San Antonio shoe company ones. They're kind of like a lot of people will list like shoes for diabetics. These are the athletic ones though. They look more like typical tennis shoes. I paid like 12 bucks or 11 bucks with tax. Um, they don't really look that bad, honestly. The sides have a little bit of wear, but overall pretty good. Um, the comps are everywhere on these. Some of them you'll see brand new listed for $135. Someone listing them used for $25. So um, obviously $25 is not enough to pay $12 bucks for them, but I think I'll get more like $40 for them, $35, $40. Hopefully more towards $40, and it'll be worth it. So I never picked up a pair before, so it's my first time. So I just figured I'd take a chance, and hopefully it'll work out. The SAS ones are the better ones, though. The San Antonio Shoes, SAS. Those ones are awesome. Every I sold all the ones I had but one pair of sandals that I'm waiting on. I don't think I showed you guys this either. It's a Juicy Couture. I mean, kind of see their little bracelet. If I did show it, I apologize. It was not 5 bucks. I ended up paying like at eight fifty and stuff, and she only charged me 4 bucks. I was like, your math is just not good, but I love you for it. Um, it was a great deal, and... Um, 
Yeah, so I think I saw someone sell one of these similar, like, their little charms on there. And they got, like, 20 plus shipping auction. So I listed mine for, like, 35 or best offer. If I get an offer of 20, I'm probably just going to take it. I don't know much about jewelry, but my goal is to learn more about it this year. I have a couple of goals to learn stuff, and jewelry is one of them. Because I see it so much at estate sales, and I don't even really look at it. And I'm like, maybe if I just knew a little bit, I might be able to... I don't know, make some money or learn something and it might be worth it. Um, here's some Ultra Pro, Ultra Pro photo refills. There's three 4x6s, one 5x7. When I bought them, I thought they were all 4x6. They were a dollar each at a thrift store, but it doesn't really matter. I lotted them all together. They usually sell for like 10 individually. Um, they're super light. Um, they're just little photo. They're kind of like what they go in like a little binder and you would just slide different size photos in there. Um, I listed them for like 35 or best offer if I could get 25 that'd be cool and lastly I want to know what you guys think about this there are a bunch of um, door pulls I mentioned a little bit about this kind of stuff earlier um, they're kind of beat up but I have 50 of them um, they have like a mark on the back says 403 and like JB or something I don't know I did some research I found someone listing them like they had like 19 of them for 40 bucks or something obviously I have more because I have 50 uh, you can see the whole bag of them right there. I paid 10 plus tax. I have no idea if it's... Oh, shoot. I just knocked over VHS tape. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. But, again, I've done well on this kind of stuff in the past. And I hadn't found these before. But they just looked kind of cool. Like maybe someone who wanted to fix an old dresser or something might want to use something like that. Or cabinets or whatever. So, again, I know a lot of that stuff does well. I just couldn't find too many comps that sold for this. Really none. I found the ones listed. So I listed them high, like in over 100 bucks for all of them, but put best offer. So if I could have an offer like 60 or 70, I mean, these things are gone. I want them out of here. But we'll see. I'll let you know how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I wanted to do one because I hadn't done kind of my more run-of-the-mill haul videos lately. And things have just been super busy. Hopefully I'll get some more going. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate all you guys commenting, liking, subscribing, all that. It uh, definitely keeps me motivated. Um, I do this part-time eBay, so I'm usually just pretty busy with my other job anyway. So YouTube sometimes gets on the back burner. But the more I see activity on the page, uh, the more I like to you know keep making the videos and want to keep things going because I appreciate the support. So thank you all for the support. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys are killing it out there. Take care.